Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, we're doing a review of the Acer Aspire E1-571-6692 laptop. Uh, basically, the, this is what you get out of the box. You know, pretty generic stuff. You got your power adapter outlet, a warranty information, a manual, a quick start guide, and of course, the laptop itself. So let's get into the specs information of the laptop. Okay, so let's go over the specs of the laptop itself. It comes packed with an Intel Core i3 processor, the exact model number of the processor being a 2370M. Uh, it's a dual core at 2.4 GHz with 3 MB of cache. Uh, in terms of RAM, it comes with 6 GB of DDR3 RAM. And of course, the graphics are integrated Intel HD 3000. Uh, it comes packed with a 500GB hard drive at 5400RPM, which is, you know, okay. Uh, the screen itself is a 15.6 LED Active Matrix TFT screen with a resolution of 1366 by 768 with of course a ratio of 16 by 9. Uh, as for the operating system itself, it comes with Windows 7 um, Home Premium ed Edition. And yes, you know, with uh, most laptop purchases, it comes with a lot of... Uh, adware and bloatware but I plan to reformat it. Uh, for a lot of people you might you know expect Windows 8 from a brand new laptop but however I don't like the Windows 8 experience in fact trying to reformat back to Windows 7 is extremely difficult on any computer that comes pre-installed with Windows 8 due to their new security features uh, so personally for me to have Windows 7 which I prefer is more of a bonus but that's more of a matter of opinion. So in terms of a memory card reader it has one at the front over here and it can basically read MMC, XD picture card, SD cards, memory stick pro, and regular memory sticks. Okay, so as for the uh, physical aspect of the laptop, you got your regular uh, LED notification lights for battery processes, etc. On the left, you have a headphone jack, a microphone jack, um, a USB port, an HDMI output port, a VGA port, internet, and of course this is where the power adapter connects to. On the right, you have two more USB ports and of course a DVD burner. At the back, you have nothing. Now, this does come with a 64-bit system uh, version of Windows 7. It does not have Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, however, it does have a front-facing camera, as you expect with most laptops nowadays. Uh, so, yeah, basically, uh, to round things up, it basically has three USB 2.0 ports. So, so three of them. Uh, the battery itself is 6-cell lithium-ion 4400mAh battery. And the laptop itself weighs about 2.45 kilograms. If I were to estimate, that's approximately 5.5 pounds. So it's pretty light, not bad. Okay, so now for a quick recap and uh, verdict of the laptop itself. I'll give this laptop a 4.5 out of 5. Now, I was able to purchase it for $550, which isn't bad. And like I said, Windows 7 to me is more of a bonus. It is an LED monitor. It's very sharp. The speakers are pretty decent, not bad. Uh, and it comes with an i3 processor, which is pretty good for the average user who wants to, say, uh, do some Microsoft Office work, uh, browse the web, um, watch some HD videos. It, it does everything very, very smooth and handles it easily. Uh, another bonus is that the battery lasts approximately uh, six hours. And I did that battery test very unbiased. I had no video playing, no speakers running. All I did was leave the monitor on for six hours straight. I didn't allow it to dim or nothing. It just left it on. It lasted about six hours, which is pretty respectable for a laptop, and it weighs, you know, not too heavy. Uh, some of the cons, though, is during the battery test, what I realized that here, when you overscroll the battery uh, percentage checker, basically, during that six hours, every so often, it'll come back. So it basically started off saying, you got six and a half hours left to use. Then it would jump down to five hours after an hour of usage. Then coming back after another hour, it would jump back up to six hours, then down to four, then up to six. So basically, the battery life on this is pretty respectable, but the battery indicator is, isn't accurate at all, which is very, very bizarre to me. Another con is that for those of you that want to remove the battery, it is pretty difficult. This is the locking mechanism here, and to put your finger in there, it's, it's possible, but it's... It's really a, a snug fit, as you can see. So you have to maybe use a pen and then pull it and latch out the battery. So overall, the laptop is pretty decent. For those of you that want to do gaming, uh, this laptop is not for you. It comes with an i3 processor, which is more for the average user that wants to do, you know, like I said, web browsing, etc., and office work. For those of you who want to do 
uh, game playing or very process intensive functions like video editing, I would suggest you get an i5 laptop. In fact, I, I at the minimum, but I rather recommend you guys get an i7 laptop or faster. Um, and you know, to me, having an HDMI output is pretty awesome because you connect connect it directly to your HDTV. So four and a half out of five. It's not a you know, it's not a bad laptop. It's pretty good actually. And uh, that's pretty much it. So if you found this video useful, check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button. It does help. Subscribe. And thanks for watching.